Hey again, it's Jordan Valeriot here, and I wanted to show you this cool mixing trick here that I came up with while mixing this song for the band Emery uh, for really getting a, a bigger, fatter, heavier guitar tone when we needed it in the mix. So in this song, there's a whole outro section that kind of builds and builds, and I'll just play it for you here first. <laughs> So that guitar riff there, the da -na 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 -na, it just kind of repeats and repeats, but the song keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, towards the end. So as I was mixing this song and, and getting to this outro and, and kind of trying to make this sound bigger and bigger and bigger as it keeps repeating. <laughs> I just found that the, the guitars were missing some, some beef, some, some fatness. And even though this is a, a really cool guitar tone, I think, I just thought, man, this it needs to sound fatter and thicker in this outro here. So how are we gonna solve this problem? First, I'm thinking, do we boost the EQ there? You know, do we try to crank up the, the saturation after the facts? And it kind of popped into my head, why don't we try to duplicate this guitar track and mix in a lower octave? So you can see this low guitar track here. So all I did was create a new stereo track and then I just literally just like dragged these two left and right rhythm guitars down onto this track. So it's an exact duplicate of these main rhythm guitars onto this low guitar track. Now, that sounds pretty crazy, right? I'll show you what I did. Uh, just this plugin that I honestly haven't used that much, but it's called Little Alter Boy from Sound Toys. And all I did here is just put the pitch down, linking the formant here so it sounds nicer, uh, putting the pitch down all the way, 12 semitones down, so which is a whole octave. <laughs> And then took this drive knob here and crank that up to just get it nice and crunchy. So listen to the transformation on this guitar tone. Pretty, pretty gnarly, but listen to how it fills out these rhythm guitars. Just did exactly what we needed to fill in and give more beef and, and meat to this uh, ending guitar tone. And what's more is that I actually kind of automated this throughout the end section. So it kind of kicks in here. And the drums kind of get busier and busier here. And then it kind of goes into a really big, heavier final outro. And that's where I kick this up even more volume wise. And I think that's just a great contrast because we go all the way from here. Then it kicks in with just mix a kind of subtly underneath. But then by the time we get to this outro, like it's a, he's playing the same riff. So how are we going to make this stand out and sound even bigger? I think this does a great job of it. just makes it massive and you know you can hear it's a little bit kind of grungy and almost muddy in the low end and I didn't follow this up with any EQ or anything I just I wanted this to be kind of just huge and fat and even a little bit messy like I didn't want to clean up any of the low end mud that's like actually what I wanted to add uh, to the main guitars 
So you don't have to be so surgical clean all the time and, and get rid of every little bit of, of muddiness in your mix. Sometimes that's exactly what, what's going to make it sound bigger and more aggressive. So I hope you enjoyed this little mixing trick here. Just, just a little something to keep in mind, an extra tool in your toolbox. If you come across something in your mixes where you just really need to fill out the bottom end and make your guitar or even your bass a lot fatter. Actually, I think I did the same trick uh, on a piano track here. Yes, I did. Yeah, did the same thing there. So just something to keep in mind. This, this might be something that you end up using here and there down the road that really makes a big difference in your mix. If you want to learn more about mixing heavy music, heavy rock and metal, then definitely check out the course I just released for Pro Mix Academy for Warren. Uh, it's going to show you how I mix a song completely from scratch. So totally from zero to finished label ready mix. You'll see track by track all the little tricks and tweaks and techniques that I use to get a modern aggressive punchy mix that's uh, competitive with the best out there today. So check that out if you want to dive deeper into mixing heavy music. And thanks for watching. Again, I'm Jordan Valeriat. Talk to you later.